Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's start hammering our metal. First up, I've loaded an object into the workspace. Uh, I've moved over to the shading tab. I'm enabling viewport shading and I have a principled shader set up. I'm just gonna immediately crank the metallic up to uh, 0.9, just quite specific. Drop the specular tint and the roughness, the roughness down to 0.3 and everything else I'm gonna leave as it is. So we've got a nice shine going on on the metal there. It's not super polished, it's in its raw state. So we first need a Voronoi texture. And we need to connect that up to a mapping node and a texture coordinate using the object value. We're gonna, oops, we're gonna move that texture coordinate down because we're going to duplicate the mapping node and the Voronoi texture. Connect up the object to the vector on the second mapping node. I now need a math node set to power. And I will duplicate that. Connect the distance from the Voronoi to the base of the power in both instances. And then uh, we need a bump node. That's going to go into the normal of the principal shader. I need to duplicate that because I've got two values that I need to use. And we'll take the value from here, from this bottom power node, to the height the normal into the normal and we're going to take the value from the top power node into the height of the bump node here. So we've got some changes to the values to make. First up the feature output on the top Voronoi texture to smooth F1, the scale to 3, smoothness to 0 0.05 and leave the randomness as it is. Changing the bottom one to smooth F1 as well. Scale to four and smoothness to 0 0.05 again. Changing the exponent on the top power node to 2.5 and the bottom one to three. On this first bump node, we're changing the strength to 0.1 and the distance to 0.6. And the same again for the other one, 0.1 and point, oops, 0.6. And there we have our, our hammered metal. Let me give it some actual color and then you might be able to see it a bit better. Let's go for a sort of a rusty metal look. Uh, and that, believe it or not, is your entire hammered metal setup. Now, basically, it's actually two um, versions of this Voronoi texture, but slightly different. You could actually just use one of these and get away with it. It's got a nice clean feel to it. I preferred the version using a couple of them because then you can, um, then you've got sort of very hand crafted look. And of course you can change the rotation and whatever to get the look that you're after. So let's send that to render and see what we get. Okay, so there's the version with two. Let me just send through to render the other version that I showed where there's just the one. And there we go different it's up to you okay that's it for this one if you've enjoyed the video please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content in the meantime thanks for watching mm -hmm.